strange creatures, these mortals. They wake, they work, they worry. It is a joyless undertaking, life. The wolds now bear the mark of time, of smoke and frailty. And there is more. A weary of magic. Did these mortals bring it with them in their tents and wagons? Or is it a symptom of something much more sinister? What is it now? I've told you before and I'll tell you again. We will leave when there is someplace else for us to go. Tell your friends in Emer that as long as the Tuatha burn our homes, we'll keep searching for a place to settle. I saw them with my own eyes, and I know Tuatha killed my fair share in the war. I am Elrod Edmund, leader of this pathetic band of ragmen. We come from the farms of the Tuili coast. Go there now, and you will find only ruin. The Tawatha raiding parties terrorized us where we were safest. At home. There are spies among us, my friend. And they must be rooted out. Will you help me? Kill them. What else? I would do it myself, but I must lead my people. They have no hope left to speak of. My strength is all they have. Fine. Then we shall be discreet. There are three whom I suspect of scouting for the Tuatha. They are paid in gold. There is no record of their actions. Onred Amfast is posing as a military recruiter, while Froma and Nag are both residents of our camps in the plain. Be careful. Consider all of them well connected. Be swift. Be merciless. Onred lurks in the shade of the Forsaken Plain, mostly. Try a mare, or the West Phalans. Froma and Nag are likely in one of the refugee camps to the east. Good luck. Don't look at me. The Forsaken Plain has its name for a reason. We have marched all the way from the coast. Welcome. Hello there.
Just give me a straight answer. Is the general still in the cradle of summer? She is for as much good as it'll do her. But the cards don't lie. She'll never get that door open. Fate says it's so. Yes. Well, then I suppose we'll just have to change fate, won't we? You with that duckle far woman? Well, between you and me, I think she might be a bit off her head. That's what the cards say, at any rate. Pleasant travels. Isn't it a glorious day, as if Helios himself warms us with a smile? To what do I owe this courtesy? I only have a few moments to spare. The god storm awaits my return, and it doesn't like to wait. Why, the god storm is the greatest event that our fragile world has ever witnessed. It was a battle, a conflict between Fae. They call it the Withering War. That's why I relocated to Emer to complete my book, the definitive work on the subject. The village is nice enough, quiet, although the new arrivals give me no peace. Sadly, I lack the last few resources needed to tell the full story. The works of the famous scribes Ewald, Dalston, Callas, and Wildfrold. Gone. I was so close. They are lost to the ages, I'm afraid. Mine, such as Ewald and Callas, are rare. I suspect that their works have been spread across the plains. I have never laid my gaze upon it. Such a thing would not be proper. I am a dustling, a child of death. The cradle of summer must not be sullied by my taint. Keep your eyes open. I am on official business. Unless you've been sent by the Alpha army, we have no reason to speak. Ask anyone and you'll get the same answer. They're animals. They care nothing for the mortal races. We're just dust to them. Enough! Keep your voice down! You're right, you're right. I'm a scoundrel and a coward. But you would have done the same thing. Give me a chance to make it right. You have my word, as a father. My informing days are over. I was a soldier once, in the years before the Crystal War. Good riddance. Thank you for coming all this way. I don't know if you heard that, but it sounds as if General Talera is still here, in exile. For all but losing the fortress of Mel Senshir, long ago, Talera led our forces. But then, the Tuatha produced a foe she could not best. Her forces barely survived the retreat out of Cluricon. Many blamed her for the loss, to have built up hopes so high, only to have them topple. That was Talera's crime, and she has paid for it, day after day. You're as quick as ever. Talera is in the Cradle of Summer, banished from the battlefields of Mel Senshir until she can atone for her past. According to the Fate Weaver here, she seeks an artifact from Ural Tusk that might break the siege and aid our forces. But she cannot do so alone, for poor Talera is fated never to succeed. That is where you can help. Last I heard, General Talera was somewhere in northern Erethel, searching for a way to turn the tide of the war. I think she took a squad to Earl Tusk. You should be just what the general's looking for. In hand. Hello, I'm Orca Tetran, village healer. You're new in a mare. I never forget a face. Are you with the refugees? Bye. 
Bye. Stay safe. Yes? Hello there. It's about time. Someone new. I was beginning to think I'd turn to dust here at this counter alone, uninteresting and not having spoken to another soul in days. Han likes to keep me up here, because down there I fill his ears with talk. Like that's a bad thing. This village is a graveyard sometimes. Talk would do it some good. Molly Janik, at your service. I teach alchemy. What can be taught, that is. Most of it is a gift. Either you have it, or you don't. Good, you again. Don't you dare leave me here to this life of isolation and drudgery. I can teach you things, important things. Just don't go. Don't be a stranger. Welcome to a mayor. You resemble someone of authority. Two rogues, likely freemen, have stolen a precious item from me. Pay attention! And to think my taxes pay your salary. There were two of them, swarthy brutes, hairy, filthy, a shudder at the thought. The beasts ransacked my antiquities collection and stole several notable items. I am a gentleman, and if you can recover my amulet, I will make it worth your time and effort. I glimpsed them leaving through the back window as they made for the woods. Excellent. I will stay here, secure, and wait for your return. I've told you everything, fool. It was an impressive gem sold to me on the road to Haxi. Quite the curio. It is called the Eye of Amun, a magical token shaped by the fae Amun the Clever. I have yet to research it thoroughly, but it is certainly valuable. Goodbye. Hello there.
Welcome back. Do you require assistance? Bye. Stay safe. I will never finish. There are so many holes in the story. Athene's wisdom be yours. What do you need? Welcome back. Hello.
Do you have it? <laughs> oh, help me. Bandits stole my amulet, the Eye of Amun, and I must get it back. Please. So, old Imundus knows what happened. Well, I don't have the amulet. Gelt does. He took it from me. In exchange, he left his dagger in my shoulder. I knew the gem was cursed. I overheard Faye speak of it, and of the great trickster Armin. But the curse is worth the agony. Imagine the gold! Hurry! There isn't much time. <laughs> Mind your business. Ignore the pint. I'm working here. Good riddance. From the naked dirt sprang the Majestics, the firstborn of the wilds of Ashara. Around them, they heard the song of splendor of a once and future summer. And they responded. And the earth moved. The carver shaped, the architect built, and the shaper composed. Parting their home beyond the veil, the firstborn were torn asunder with a cry that still lingers in the heart of every god tree and mountain. Then emptiness, followed by a darkening sky, and the frost wept with the first winter.
Are you one of the intruders? One of the children of the dust? What else can we possibly give you that you haven't already taken? A cradle of summer is not a flower for the plucking. Mortals. Children of the dust. Those who seek only to steal the treasures of the land from which we sprung to end the deep slumber. Mortals like you who seek to bend nature to their will, to make it bow before them as a servant, not embrace it as a guide and mother. Mortals. Thieves, liars, and weaklings. They have stolen items of great power. They have stolen the three staffs. A child of the dust wishes to help the cycle. Why, there is no precedent. If you truly wish to assist those of us in the deep slumber, you are welcome to. The three staffs were stolen from Sill Hollow and destroyed by the thieves who did not comprehend their power or their value. I heard their dying screams. The pieces must be recovered and the staffs must be reforged. If you can do this, you are more worthy of the cradle than I could imagine. But likely, you will not. It is for those answers that I seek the wisdom of the slumber. For it is in its reverie where I will learn the whereabouts of these thieves, Raff, Perter, and Hagni. Move swiftly. Hello. Lovely weather. Have you spotted any sativa fiber? It's okay if you haven't. I'll keep looking. Lovely weather. Leela Janik, didn't you know? I thought that's why you were speaking to me. I collect plants to sell, to mix, to eat. Some of them I haven't figured out what to do with yet. What I love is some sativa fiber, fresh and unpicked. There's a patch of it. But the spiders won't let me near. Oh, hello. Did you just get here? Don't do it on my account. The Cradle of Summer will provide. They have a nest in one of the small crevices at the foot of the cliffs. You'll know it by all the corpses. Nice to see you. Hello.
Thank the gods. Someone's come for me at last. Yes, I am the scoundrel you're looking for. Yes, I stabbed my partner in the back. Do with me what you like. Just please, please take the amulet. It's yours. I'll tell you why. This fey trinket belonged to Armin the Clever, and it's cursed. Like most, I considered it an old traveler's story. Well, now I'm a believer. It's real. I have the scars to prove it. Your only hope is to give it away, or to travel to Armin's Hollow, in hopes you can remove the curse, which is why I'm here. Please, take the amulet. I am so weak. I cannot withstand its influence. If I possess it any longer, I will surely die. What a relief. You have no idea how long I've been trying to abandon that damn thing. In order to be rid of its curse, you must take the amulet to Armin's Hollow of Sill and cleanse it. Armin wishes to make you enter his lair and face its many dangers. But once you've done that, the amulet is yours to keep. If you ask me, it's a high price to pay for a rather dull trinket. He lives in Emer. Pompous blowhard going on about his artifact collection to any who would listen. Name's Imundus. Wayne Imundus. I'm sorry, but you took the amulet from me willingly. I won't touch it again. Go to the Hollow of Sill. It's the only way to cleanse the curse. That was my plan. Goodbye.
Thank <laughs> you. 